This is the Asus CR1 Chromebook, an 11.6 inch Chromebook launched at the end of 2021. It's got a rugged build, it's an education focused Chromebook so designed to withstand the classroom. If you follow on YouTube, TikTok or Instagram you may have already seen my original unboxing and the video I made about the blanking plates on this model, I'll link it in the description down below. It's been nearly three months since then and I've got some thoughts on this Chromebook that I'm ready to share with you in this full review. This particular model has the Intel Celeron N4500 processor, 4GB of RAM and 64 gig of storage but as usual there's a range of configurations so do check it runs 64-bit chrome os and will receive updates until the aue date of june 2030 this is the most basic model so it's an 11.6 inch hd non-touch screen which is also tn so viewing angles and vividness suffer a bit compared to an ips screen but it's not the worst i've seen i'll link you to a comparison in this video's description and the same for any other videos i mention Worth noting also that this particular model version of the CR1 isn't convertible, so the screen does go back but only 180 degrees. I do like the build quality including the grippy rubber top and the bottom as well as the bumpers. It feels a lot like the Asus Flip C214 Chromebook that I reviewed in 2021 and the CR1 series feels like the natural update to those Chromebooks. It's a little heavy in its class at 2.90 pounds or about 1.31 kg. Connectivity is also decent, dual USB-C and A ports as well as a micro SD card slot and a headset jack connection. And if you're spotting the blanking plates, see my other video where I explain them in more detail. The spill resistant keyboard is fairly nice to type on, I'd say the keys have a medium travel to them and the trackpad is a bit on the smaller side but feels pretty solid. I'm less of a fan of the smooth plastic Asus put on the palm rest area, it does just feel a little cheap. Performance with the Intel Celeron N4500 processor is decent for general usage with several tabs and the odd Android app open and basic gaming like on other Chromebooks I've shown with this processor is absolutely fine for things like Roblox or emulators. Using my pluggable dock, the CR1 could run my two HP 1080p Full HD monitors no problem, as well as all of my other peripherals. The battery life is also well balanced. In way of a trade-off, I think the TN screen here helps a bit. My usual benchmark was passed of easily being well into my second day of general usage before I felt the need to charge. The dual USB-C means you can connect to charge either side of your desk too, and I do like the small puck style charging brick Asus use. The speakers are on the bottom, as you'd expect on a Chromebook of this size, but Asus have placed them more towards the front than the sides. They're not the loudest for a Chromebook of this size, but the quality isn't the worst either. Not as tinny as some I've heard. Here's a brief example from one of my other videos. It can almost hide under a sheet of A4 paper. It's fully convertible, so you can use it in a number of ways through the tablet mode. Port selection is decent and includes dual USB-C. The webcam is a pretty standard 720p setup, there's no privacy shutter either unfortunately. There are options with a second camera being the world facing camera but on this model I just get the blanking plate. If you want to understand more about those blanking plates and the other models in this range that are convertible or come with a the stylus then definitely check out this next video.